Hey and welcome back to Yoga with Ruby. Glad you guys are back. Uh, today what we'll be doing is focusing on flow, strictly for weightlifters. Uh, of course you don't have to be a weightlifter to take part in this flow, but this is what it's aimed towards. Okay, so a lot of weightlifters maybe think, oh, I'm not going to do any other exercise unless it's picking up a weight and setting it back down again. No. When we think about doing yoga and weightlifting together, we think about uh, stabilising the smaller muscles, think about balance, about strengthening, and about mind to muscle connection. It also allows mobility, okay, so it's going to keep your joints lubricated. You're going to be able to move in and out of your bench, your bench press and your squats a lot easier, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're beginning today at the bottom of our mats. And if uh, your knees allow you to sit like this, then you're going to sit with your glutes on your heels. Coming in child's pose, just inhale, reaching the whole way up to the fingertips, exhale, and allow the shoulders to drop back down your spine away from the ears. We're still lengthening to the fingertips here, palms facing each other. And on your next exhale, so we're going to go ahead and inhale together. And on your next exhale, just beginning to bow forward to bring your hands to the mat. Just bringing them to rest on the mat. You can let your forehead rest here. Arms are still active, elbows are extended and up off the mat. We're still drawing those shoulders down away from the ears. Just breathe in here, let your chest sink towards the mat. And it's going to open up your chest. Lovely now on your next end breath, inhaling to raise up to all fours. Just remember to be nice and gentle with your body here, okay? So you might be a bit sore. Uh, maybe you did a weightlifting session yesterday and you're a wee bit sore. <laughs> so we're just going to stay here with your hands uh, shoulder width apart. Arms are extended, insides of the elbows are looking at each other. We're just going to work into our cat cow. So let's begin by pressing the tailbone away, sticking your bum out, just beginning to dip into that lower spine, squeeze the shoulder blades back, keep those arms extended, and extend the neck to look up. Keep the tops of those feet rooted on the ground. Coming into the opposite position now, so begin at the tailbone, beginning to tuck the tailbone under, working up your lower back, now into the mid back, pressing the ground away. You feel your shoulder blades widen and your forehead hangs towards the bottom, towards the mat. Keep pressing the ground away, sucking your belly button navel in. And as you inhale, Coming into your dip spine, your cow. Exhale. Inhale. We're going to do this for a couple of rounds. So follow your breath, work at your own pace. Each time you exhale, beginning to round, you come into your cat pose. And as you inhale, beginning to dip. Feel that lovely length across your abdominals, you should feel that in your tummy. Oh, lovely. Now, 
Tucking your pelvis forward, keep the elbows tucked into the ribs, bending the elbows into the ribs, allow your chest to float down towards the mat as your toe comes to touch or your, your toe. As your nose begins to touch the mat, you're gonna press into your chest. Raise up through and raise your chest up. Keep pressing into your pubic bone and your hip bones. Allow your lower body to become soft as you begin to breathe, send your breath to your upper body, your spine, your shoulder blades, your triceps. Keep those elbows hugging into your ribs. Again, this is getting a nice lengthen across the front body. Keep the shoulders drawn back and down away from the ears. Elongate the neck. And breathe. Just enjoy this cobra for a few breaths. And on your next exhale, allowing your chest to fall to the mat nice and gently. Now pressing the ground away. You're going to raise your chest back up to this starting position with your pelvis tucked forward. We're going to go into our extended puppy. So begin to draw the hips back, walking your hands forward to the top of your mat. Hands are pressing into the groin. We're raising your hips up, lowering your chest to the groin. Again, keeping the arms active here, elbows extended and lifted and you're letting your chest drop towards the mat. Keep your hips and your knees aligned, stacked on top of one another. You can let your forehead rest on the mat here. Keeping your abdominals engaged and the spine lengthened. Lovely and on your next in breath, raising the chest up from the mat. You can walk your hands back to tabletop, directly underneath the shoulders. We're just going to begin to raise the right arm forward. You're reaching and lengthening forward. Extend the left leg out behind your body. Uh, try to make sure that your hips are square and uh, one hip is in fall onto one side, okay? So you're trying to keep them nice and square. Begin to bend into that left knee, reach behind the body to take a hold of your left big toe with your index finger and your thumb. Beginning to squeeze that left glute, raise the leg up, find your balance and breathe. Feel that chest opening, the right shoulder squeezing back. And if you can, turn your head to look up or forward and focus. And on your next exhale, releasing and reaching. Release the right hand back to the mat. And now allowing your left toes to curl under and come to the mat. You can allow that left knee to drop. As you begin to extend into the right leg and big step forward. Okay, so this should feel nice in your hips again. Your hands are to the inside of the right leg. We're beginning to draw the left hip forward. Your right hip's coming back. And your right knee is stacked on top of your right ankle. Let's hold it here and breathe. If you wish, you can even begin to come up onto 
the edge of that right foot and take your right hand to press that leg away. Nice and gently breathing. Imagine that you're sending your in breath to anywhere where you're holding tension in the body. Each time you exhale, imagine that you're getting rid of that tension wherever you're holding it. Probably at the hips. If we're here in our lizard pose, you can begin to bring that right foot back. And now we're going to tuck the toes under, raise the left knee. Inhale to raise the arms up and slightly out behind the body into your crescent lunge. Find your balance and you're squeezing the thighs in tight into the center line of the body. Keep those arms lifted and lengthening. Biceps are just squeezing in close towards the ears and your gaze is between your fingertips. Begin to slowly release the left knee back. And now you can take your hands to your hips. Release the right knee back. Excuse me. Rest the hips back. Inhale. Lengthen the side body. Exhale, bringing the hands to the front of the mat and the forehead rest. Lovely, raising back up. Good. Now we're going to go through the opposite side just like that again i'm going to explain it and we're going to go through it nice and slow just like we did i'm going to explain so this really is a short flow um and if you'll begin to really focus on your breath connecting your breath and the movement then it can become a lot easier to get into these poses and become comfortable you're sending oxygen to the muscles. So just be aware of what your body is capable of doing. Uh, be aware of how you feel. If you have had any energy, any injuries in the past, then definitely, definitely do. Be aware of your limitations. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the opposite side. So that means at the opposite side of your mat. Okay. So beginning, if your body allows you to sit like this with your glutes sitting back on your heels, uh, you can even bring a pillow and to make this a wee bit easier, tuck the pillow underneath your knees and sitting back to give yourself support. Okay, so sit up nice and tall, raising the chest, shoulders draw back. Unclench your jaw, closing the eyes, and breathe. Inhale, fill up the chest, exhale. Inhale, reaching both hands up to the sky. And exhale. Come into bow and bring the palms of the hands to the mat. Let your forehead rest. Just allowing your chest to fall here. Keep the arms lifted. Arms are active. Good. Now you're rounding up from your child's pose up into cat and in all fours. Let's begin to press the tailbone away. Don't be afraid to adjust your arms and your knees here. Knees are hip width apart. Remember your breathing. Inhale into cow. 
Exhale into cat pose. Inhale, come to dips. Exhale. Grinding the spine in. Feel that lengthening across the front body. Exhale. Now bring the hips forward, tuck the tailbone, arms are strong, elbows and ribs. Bend, line the chest to come to the mat. Inhale, coming up onto your hips and your pubic bone as you raise your chest up through. Keeping the elbows hugged into those ribs nice and tight. Triceps are activated here and your hands are directly underneath the shoulders. Breathe and inhale. Closing your eyes and just allowing yourself to be aware of your body and how it feels in this pose. Let's get a better sense of where we carry our tension, where we hold uh, any stress in the body over him. So we want to be aware, just breathing. Trying to bring more awareness into the spine. Exhale. Line the chest to fall. Just breathing here for a couple breaths. Good, and now align your hands to press you back up into that starting position. As you begin to draw the hips back so that they're in line with your knees. And as you do so, walking the hands forward to the top of your mat, hands are pressing down into the ground as you allow your chest to now draw towards your mat. Letting your forehead rest on the ground. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Letting your chest fall, spine is lengthened. Abdominals are braced and engaged. Breathe in here. Allowing my chest to fall. How does this pose feel compared to our cobra? Where do you feel this? Close the eyes and focus. Now on your next inhale, come in to raise the chest up and walk the hands back directly underneath the shoulders. Good job. Good job. Now we're going to go into our all fours chest opener. So this time we're going to work into the opposite side, extending your left arm out in front, right leg out behind. Check that our hips are square. And again, one is a dipping, remember, we're trying to keep them square. Fantastic. Bending into that right knee, we're going to draw that left arm out behind. Find your toe, is it there? There it is. Take a hold of your big toe with your index finger and your thumb. Big inhale as you exhale. Begin to squeeze in that glute, lift your leg up. Now drawing that left shoulder out behind, keep the chest lifted, gazing in front or above. And you'll find that your balance is better on one side than the other. This may or may not be really obvious to you, so keep that knee lifted. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Well done. Exhale. Now releasing, taking that hand forward, leg up behind. Find your alignment. Now releasing your right toes to the ground. Releasing 
your left hand back. Allow the right knee to come to the mat. Extending into that left leg and taking a big step forward. Hands are to the inside of that left foot. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Hips are square. Drawing that left hip back and right hips forward. Legs are squeezing and engaged. Good. Don't be afraid to also see how it feels to press that bent knee away. Okay, so begin if you wish, it's up to you to gently press that left knee away. Exhale, coming back into center, releasing that hand back. And now begin to tuck your right toes, raising the right knee, find your strength, keep the legs engaged. Widen your stance if you need to. If you find that you're balanced, it's hard to balance, just widen your stance, walk your feet out. Inhale to raise the arms up above the head, sweeping them up towards the ceiling. Hips are square, pelvis facing the wall in front. Keep the hips tucked. Begin to weigh into that front leg, that left hip, to engage the stretch. Keep those hands lifted. If you can, hands reaching out behind the head, gaze lifted if you can, or gaze to the wall in front. Feels your legs, your legs are strengthening. One more in breath and exhale. Bringing the hands back to the inside of that foot. Drop your right knee. Take a step back. And now you're letting the hips kind of drop back to your heels, reaching your hands forward, let your forehead rest. Breathe. Don't be afraid to walk your knees out a wee bit wider. Keep your big toes together. Fantastic guys, oh my goodness, this, I feel great already, this feels amazing. So I hope you guys feel great too. We're not done yet, so um, because this is a vinyasa flow, we're going to try and connect the breath and the movement uh, simultaneously, so uh, the pace may be a bit quicker. We're not going to be uh, pausing to take as many breaths, it'll be more me cueing you to um, move into the next pose to create a sequence of poses. So it's really important to um, can focus on the breath to connect the breath with the movement. Okay, so this is going to really help you again get comfortable into those poses uh, to really find your, um, your awareness of yourself uh, and your body. Okay. Again, just be aware of what you can and can't do. So, well done. We're going to go ahead and get started. So, at the opposite side of your mat. Before um, we begin, I actually want to do another chest opener just for good measure. So, you can take your hands out behind the body, interlock, pressing the heels of the hands together if you can. Begin to extend and straighten into your arms, keep the chest lifted, keep your tummy engaged. 
Keep squeezing the shoulders back. This is a great chest opener. Love it. it, feels so nice. Just give your shoulders a little roll back and forth. And let's go ahead and get started. So beginning at the back of your mat, you're sitting on your heels, chest is lifted, inhale to sweep the arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, bowing your hands down to the mat, let your forehead come to rest on the mat and your child's pose. As you exhale, rounding up into your cat pose, we're just going to do a few rounds of cat cow here. Just coming into your cow, now dipping the spine as you inhale and exhale as you come to extend and round into the spine. Remember to keep pressing into your hands, into your knuckles and the pads of your hands. Now just hinging the hips forward, your arms are strong as you bend your elbows into your ribs, let your nose come to touch the mat as you lower your chest and inhale to raise the chest up and through, keeping the elbows tight in here and your cobra. Imagine that your elbows are given your ribs a big hug. And this is all in your upper body, lower body is soft. As you exhale, releasing the chest down to the mat. Inhale, raising back up to all fours. Begin to walk your hands forward to the top of your mat as you come to let your forehead rest on the, the mat. Your hips are stacked on top of your knees in your extended puppy pose. Raising back up out of your extended puppy, walk your hands back underneath the shoulders, well done. Inhale, sweeping the left arm forward, extending the right leg out behind, bending into the right knee. Sweep your left arm out behind, taking a hold of your big toe with your index finger and thumb. Begin to raise uh, your leg up and your knee up as you squeeze into the back body, into your glute and your hamstring. Release your grip now, extending your arm forward and your leg back. You can release your hand to the mat as you release your right leg back. And release your knee. Take a step forward with your left foot to into your low lunge. Your hands are to the inside of that left leg as you take your left hand and gently press away against your left knee. Come up onto the knife edge off your foot on the left foot releasing your hand and your foot back to the mat get ready raising your back knee up legs are strong as you inhale raise up into your high lunge and sweep the arms overhead come into a slight back bend as your arms slightly reach out behind chest is lifted and you're strong releasing the hands back to the mat the inside of the left leg release the right knee down to the mat releasing your left leg back into all fours and the hips drop back as you exhale and rest here in your child's pose. Well done. You can walk your knees out a wee bit wider if that feels comfortable for you, if you're happy to do so. Okay, so that was the first round guys we're now going to go on to the opposite side so if you'd like to come up out of your child's pose and just move to the opposite side of your mat now again we're sitting here with our knees bent we're sitting back on our heels inhale and reach lengthening the arms up by your sides lengthening the side body now as you exhale Bowing your hands to the mat, let your forehead come to rest. And when I first said this years ago, people like you relaxed. Rounding up through the spine into your extended cat pose, great. Dropping the hips back into cow pose, just a few rounds here. Following your own pace, your own breath and paying attention to your body here. This is for you. You want to get the most out of your practice just being aware of our body and how it feels here. Now drawing the hips forward, bending the elbows into the ribs, lowering your chest and nose to the mat. Inhale, come to raise the chest up through, keeping the elbows tucked in in your cobra here. Getting a lovely lengthen, not only um, in your spine, but we're also lengthening our abdominals here. 
feels great, release the chest. Inhale, pressing the ground away, raising up into all fours as you walk your hands forward to the top of the mat. Let your forehead come to rest. Hips are stacked over the heels. Spine is neutral as your abdominals are braced and engaged here. Letting your chest come to fall towards the mat, keeping the spine lengthened. Hips are stacked over the knees. As you exhale now, come to round up through into all fours as you walk your hands back. Extend into the left leg and the right arm, bending into the knee. Take a hold off your big toe with your index finger and thumb. Keeping the hips square, the chest lifted. If you feel any compression in your lower back, then think about lengthening through both sides, both ends of the body. Now extending and releasing. Release the toes back to the mat and your hand. Now you can drop that left knee as you extend into your right leg. Kind of take a step forward. Hands are to the inside of that leg. Get ready. So again, hips are square here. Drawing the left hips forward and the right hips back. Come up onto the edge of the right foot as you gently press your knee away. You don't have to, you can stay in your low lunge, but this is a nice gentle stretch for your hips. Always make sure to be gentle. If you feel any sharp pain, then come out of it. Fantastic. Release the foot back as you tuck your back toes, raise your knee. Legs are strong as you inhale, come to sweep the hands up over your head. And you can have your gaze forward or you can raise your gaze up so you're looking in between your hands. Now as you exhale, come to bring the hands back to the mat. Drop your back knee. Take your feet back to tabletop as you now come to rest back on your heels in your child's pose. Fantastic guys, hope that you enjoyed. Here's just me being silly. I hope that you guys enjoyed this content and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Hope to see you guys again.